Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of Sicilian truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is going to be a quick hit, straight to the point, but also entitled, Do His Will. Do His Will. Whose will? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you have the elect of the Lord, which is the one third, starting with the 144,000 men. Okay. And you have two thirds of the Lord, which, which are not going to do the will of the Lord, but the elect will. And um, before I even go any further, let me read a quick precept here. It's Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. All right, so the whole duty of man, okay, being an Israelite, is to fear the Most High and to keep his commandments. All right, so yes, even in 2020, you have to keep the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And um, those that were going to rehearse and keep the commandments to the best of their ability is the elect. Two thirds could care less. All right. They basically despise the, the, the commandments of the Lord and they go according to their own will. All right. And um, I'm thinking of another quick precept real quick. Um, Baruch 4. And one, which it reads, let me move this down. Baruch 4 and 1, this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All right. So it shows you that here in the scriptures that the commandments of Yahweh, it does what? It endure forever. All right. Now, we all fell short. We all sinned and we all. You know, let me say the elect has uh, uh, been woken from their Gentile frame of mind. All right. That's why repentance is key in this truth. And that's why it just proves more that John the Baptist was a man of the Lord. You know, despite what certain Israelite camps are saying, ISUPK, John the Baptist is not a man of the Lord. And he cared for Yahweh Shai, whatever. You know, John the Baptist was a man of the Lord. He was a forerunner for Yahweh Shai. He was up first to be before Yahweh Shai, but to usher in Yahweh Shai, just as well as the elect are ushering in Yahweh Shai now. All right. You could say John the Baptist, um, he, he, he poured out that red carpet. He, he rolled out that red carpet for Yahweh Shai way and the elect is doing the same. OK, so it says, for this is the book of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All right. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Means what? Be enlightened. Okay. Give not thy honor unto another, nor the thing that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. All right. So you shouldn't be honoring these uh, false gods and these other nations and their gods. Don't give that over. Don't give uh, not thou honor to another. Okay. You know, a lot of the two thirds, they give their honor to Esau. You know, right now, it's a new it's a new way to be an American. It's a new American way today. Everybody wearing face masks, you know, people willingly going to take this vaccine. You know, um, you know, if you're not wearing a mask then you're looking, you know, like like like, uh, you know, uh, a fucking uh, uh, idiot. You know, they changed the way. It can, they easily change the way that, you know, society is, okay? So it says, give not thou honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto, the, unto a strange nation, all right? And guess what? You Israelites are profitable if you serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Now, let's go back here to the scripture. Matter of fact, let me, let me, uh, Grab Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 once again. It says, um, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. All right. So the purpose is doing the will of the most high. All right. Now, 
I'm going to read here. This is uh, Romans 12 and 2. Okay, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. Okay, now this is Apostle Paul giving us, you know, the instructions on how to uh, do the will of the Most High. And that's in the way of repenting. You can't do the will of the Most High if you don't know the Most High, if you never change. That's why the scriptures say, put off the old man. All right. It says, and be not conformed to this world. What world? This society. All right. You know, you got in this society is, is glorified to be a uh, to, to be a money getter, you know, to have a lot of holes. All right. To chase, to have fancy cars, to be this great basketball football player, to be a rapper, which rappers are hypocrites. You know, they're nothing but actors, entertainers. All right. Don't be conformed to this world. Now, let me see here. Quick definition for conform. It says, if something conforms to something such as law or someone's wishes, it is of the required type or quality. Okay. Conform, right? Verb. It says, if you conform, you behave in a way that you are expected or supposed to behave. Yeah. And right now it's a new conformed way in this society. You got to wear a mask. You know, like I said before, you know, Jake talking shit about you because you're not wearing a mask because they're so afraid that, you know, the air is going to give them this coronavirus when the viruses doesn't even work like that. So Esau is insulting, you know, in your intelligence, you know, he wants you to be conformed into this new way. Be willing to take this vaccine. All right. That they give. Be willing to take this chip that they're going to chip under your arm. All right. Be willing to do whatever it is. That your, your government says because the government is God. All right. So it says if you conform, you behave in a way that you are expected or supposed to behave. All right. And how are you supposed to behave in this world? In this world today, in this society? Wicked. All right. If you're not talking about drugs, smoking weed. If you're not talking about fucking hoes, you know, around your homeboys and niggas out here in the world. You're not talking about rapping. You're not trying to get up and go to the, uh, well, you can't now anyway, but party and gather, you know, the excess of rice banqueting, then guess what? You know, if you're not doing those things, you're not of the world. The most high will pull you from those things, man. All right. So anyway, it says, um, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now. I just want to do a quick definition search for transform. It says uh, to transform something into something else means to change or convert it into that thing. All right. So, yeah, transform. All right. As Paul said, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right. Renewing of your mind and what? In the scriptures, man. Be ye transformed. Convert. If you're an Israelite from the seed of your father, you supposed to wake up and come back into this truth, come back into your inheritance, you know, learn who you are as a people. All right. But be ye transformed. So like, yeah, just want to see that again to transform something into something else means to change or convert it into that thing. All right. Because you in the world having a Gentile frame of mind and then what you transform. All right. And the renewing of your mind. Which is the renewing is the is the uh the the new way of how you manage yourself, how you conduct yourself, how do you walk in this flesh, in this life, in this world, you know? Mm, to transform something or someone means to change them completely. So you're supposed to change completely. All right. That's why we in our intro, we say uh, those who teaching this word in sincerity and truth. All right. Who's sincere in this truth and fear in Yahweh Bashim Shai to do what? The will of the Most High. All right. And you got the elect scattered. OK. 
So it says to transform something or someone means to change them completely. Because when you wake up to this truth, you change completely. You no longer look at the world the same anymore. You know, you can't, you know. You're no longer dead. You're, you're living. You know, you're alive. You're enlightened as we read Baruch 4 and 1 to be illuminated. All right. It says, and suddenly so that they are much better or more attractive. Okay. Anyway, it says, um, uh, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's why you got to put off the old man. You have to change in your mind. That's what, uh, John was actually doing. He was, he was teaching, okay, those that was meet for repentance that was coming to his speech teaching. All right. And some, and really, and really what he was doing Besides teaching, he was washing them with the word, which was symbolic for them renewing themselves. All right. The water represents the word. It says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that's good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. OK, and that's by following the scriptures. The scriptures say, uh, 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 uh. Love showeth no ill to his neighbor, roughly five phrasing. So like if I quoted it wrong, uh, but if you keep the laws to the best of your ability, which, you know, to the best of your ability, you should bring no ill to your neighbor. All right. You know, the Lord truly teaches us how to man ourselves in his flesh and especially in this wicked ass society, this wicked ass fucking society, man. All right. The Lord teaches you how to handle yourself amongst your enemy. He can even make your enemies be at peace with you. But it starts with you. It starts with you, the renewing of your mind. Okay? The Lord gives us faith. By what? The renewing of our mind. That's why the Lord breaks breaks brothers down. And then he builds them back up stronger. So tribulation is a good thing. When it comes from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If it's in righteousness. You don't want to suffer for being wicked. You would rather suffer for being righteous, man. So that when you are broken and beaten down. The Lord come and build you back up even stronger, you know, giving you that experience, which experience is what wisdom, you know, and that wisdom you have, you can also teach others, you know, because that's what this is about. It's about waking up the elect. So, like I said, uh, this is a uh, 12 minutes. OK, this is a, a quick hit. Hopefully, I hope I hope you will edify. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakudash. I want to give double honors. To my apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.